I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> All right, guys, I have everything all set up. Let's go ahead and do a control surface check. Left, right, up, down. Everything looks good there. I've got a little bit of throttle there, hopefully. Yep, good to go on the throttle. And I'm testing out that new AKK VTX today. We're gonna see how that performs. And I have the GoPro running on the front. The CG is pretty much spot on. It's a little bit nose heavy, which is great for a wing. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do the maiden flight. Let's get this bird up in the air. Actually, launch is pretty nice. I'm flying right now a 4S 1500 in there. So you can fly this wing on three or 4S. 30 amp ESC in there, should be able to handle it just fine. I like 4S because it gives me a little more punch, a little more speed when I wanna come in close to the ground. 3S is nice for cruising though. If you're a new pilot, start with 3S on this plane. You can launch it in 3S just fine. You can do the auto launch where you throw it and the motor is supposed to spool up for you. Right now I'm in stabilized mode, so I'm gonna give it full throttle, give it a little more power. I do see that the wing is teetering left and right a little bit on the roll axis, you know, and that's because it doesn't have vertical stabilizers. So it's gonna give you a little more roll. A little more wobble. But this is a 35 inch wing, so it, you know, it should be fairly stable for you. FPV wings aren't usually as smooth a ride as something like a race quad would be, but this thing is really, really doing some nice turns. Let's, let's try a full stick to the left turn. Full stick. It won't let me do a roll in stabilized mode, so just determine that. Full stick to the right, get a little elevator up. Nice. So let's go ahead and try out the flight mode number two. That's in the center of my stick. It's gonna give me a little more pitch and roll. Is it gonna let me roll all the way over? I wouldn't try to do a roll in that mode. It's still giving me some stabilize in mode two in that center switch. And now I'm gonna go ahead and switch into manual. I'm gonna climb up just a little more, get a little bit into the nose into the wind and switch all the way down. Okay, now I'm in full manual. Full manual feels pretty good so far. Swing back around here and uh, I'm gonna come off the end of the field right here. And I'm just gonna give it a little more throttle and come up, see if I can do a loop. Nice. Big loop. That is a small motor on there for most FPV race wings. Let's go ahead and go back into stabilize. So if you're going to do any kind of rolls or uh, loops, you definitely wanna have some throttle and be higher up with this wing for sure. Or you wanna put a little less expo in the radio. I have like 25% expo in the radio and it could probably actually be dialed back down to about 10 for the way I like it to fly in manual. I'll try a roll. Yeah, it's uh, pretty dialed in. Not bad for the maiden flight. I usually have to do quite a bit of trimming on wings to get them fly straight. That's kind of stick, hands off the sticks right there. It's performing actually pretty good, I'm surprised. Really nice flying wing. I'm gonna come back up just a little bit, get a little bit of altitude there. And I'm gonna go back into stabilize. And I'm just gonna cruise for a bit. This is pretty cool. It's not a flight controller. It's just pretty much an onboard gyro system on there that you plug your receiver into. And I have a, a, D, a D4R, a D, D4R2 in there. FR Sky. It's been a while since I used that one, but it doesn't accept S Bus, which is kind of a bummer. So, Zod, please make the next version of this compatible with S Bus receivers. That's why I'm using that older 
receiver on there, that D4R2, and I took the little plug off the end. So if you're using your D4R2 or PPM, take that little plug off the end. And you're gonna, gonna set this one up in your FR Sky Radio on D8. And you're only gonna use like four channels. So you only really need four channels on this plane to set it up with a mode switch and everything. Your switch for the mode is it's probably gonna be on your channel number four. And you only have to have aileron, elevator, and throttle after that. So pretty simple, easy to set up. Not gonna use the rudder, that'll be excluded. Just make another turn here and let's test out the uh, glide ratio with a 1500 4S. And this is cool because it has a very similar size motor and prop configuration as most FPV racers. I'm just using a 4S 1500 and that's a battery that I have a ton of. So I'm gonna come in, come back around. I'm gonna put it nose into the wind and I'll cut the throttle for you guys and you guys can check out the glide ratio because 35 inch wing is pretty standard for a lot of FPV wings right now. There it goes. Pull back on the elevator a little bit, keeping that nose up. Seems to be doing pretty good. I don't wanna jinx it. But the glide ratio looks good enough. You're not gonna get a super long glide out of this. This is not a really super fast wing. It almost reminds me of the Parrot wing. That black bottom on there. I like the black bottom because I can see where the top and the bottom of the wing is. It's kind of important if you're flying line of sight like this. But super easy to fly. If you're, if you're new to airplanes or wings in general, it's not hard to set up. Set up in the radio takes about 10 minutes. The longest part of my setup was actually wiring in my FPV system straight to my battery lead. Because I have that AKK VTX that can handle up to like 26 volts. That thing is 1200 milliwatt. That's the new one on there. So I can get a lot of range with this wing. If I wanted to go way out across this field, I definitely could. If I put a long range FR Sky receiver on there, I could really do have some fun with this wing. And you could probably fly something bigger than a 2200 if you wanted to. You could even put like a 4S 2200 in there. There's plenty of room in there. You could also add a flight controller. You do some iNav on this wing. Some people have. I've seen some other people's videos where they use iNav on this one. Nice because it does break apart. So you could get on an airplane with this one and travel with it without having to use like a bow case like some people do. Travel overseas, use like a compound bow case, put their wings in. Pretty standard for uh, 36 inch wings. Now this one happens to be 35. No vertical stabilizers. I'm kind of interested that they didn't put vertical stabilizers on it. It seems to be doing pretty well. So I got a plane coming over my head right now and um, I'm just gonna keep it kind of low here over the field and just cruise. I'm getting a pretty good flight time out of a 4S 1500. 30 amp ESC is just handling it just fine. You have to calibrate this ESC by the way, guys. So you have to push your throttle stick full up and then power on the, the wing. You'll hear it beep two times and then put your stick all the way to the bottom. And you'll hear another series of beeps and you'll be all good. Your motor will be ready to go out and fly. That is an easy to fly wing. So I'm gonna go back into manual now. Just gonna make some high speed pass here. You guys can see a high speed pass 4S. Let's go climb straight up. See how it does straight up? Not bad. Backing off the throttle. 
So yeah, if you wanted this one to be a race wing, it's probably not gonna be the fastest wing out there in the world, but it's pretty quick. I would say this is a great trainer or long range plane, or a really docile park flyer. Go back into stabilize now. And I'll have to see how stable it is as far as kind of the wing teetering back and forth when I FPV it, but, uh, and sometimes the higher end of the throttle will stabilize it a little more. So if you put a little more throttle into it, it'll stop those wing tips from fluttering so much back and forth. But that's kind of typical of FPV wings. They're not super smooth like FPV racers can be when they're locked in an acro and they have the right pids. You're gonna get some bounce. Man, this is awesome. I, I have to FPV this, guys. We have to get this on the ground and do some FPV. This is too much fun. And by the way, it's rocking some eight gram digital servos. One thing I don't like about it that might be a con is that it has, and it definitely is a con for me, I have tons of six inch props, but this one takes a proprietary spin on prop and it doesn't have a prop nut on it, which kind of drives me crazy. So Zod, if you're listening, please put a standard prop on the back of your wings and your FPV planes, because that's what people want. I don't want to have to go find a proprietary prop on the internet when I break this one, because I only have one. So since I only have one prop, I'm going to be super careful when I'm landing it. Okay, so I'm going to walk over here to my left a little bit where the field is a little bit flatter and it's nice out here today because normally there's tons of people FPV racing out here in this field. Today it's just me. Got the whole field to myself. Super nice day outside. You can see Mount St. Helens over there in the distance. All right guys, here we come. It's gonna do a nice slow landing. Oh, maybe I'll take one more pass. I don't want to have that much height coming in or speed. I want to flare up here. Oh, one more time. Coming back around. I think I'm going to land into the wind. That's the problem. I'm trying to land downwind. Keep the nose up if you land into the wind. You just have better glide. So here we go. Making my approach. The old guys always said long and low. Keep it long and low, Justin. Here we go. Cutting off the throttle. Trying not to break that prop. The GoPro flew off. So that's going to take a little bit of CA there, and uh, maybe a maybe a strap would be better through here and around the whole thing. I actually put a little extra VHB on there just to secure this thing a little more. Camera was running for 14 minutes there. So pretty cool. We'll go ahead and uh, turn this off. I'll get my goggles set up and uh, let's do some FPV on 4S on this Zod Orbit. Enjoy the flight guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye. If I leave here tomorrow Would you still remember me? Well, I must be traveling on now Cause there's too many places I've got to see
Just good. 